a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the camp of the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yens Onweke, in the main opposition, People Democratic Party, are in joyous mood. All right, my people, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back to back update as it is hot. In case it's your first time of joining this wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, and also turn the notification bell to get notified whenever our news drop so that now you're going to be the first to watch my people not be small mats at the apple for this country. Daddy, whatever I can go give what I'll be saying. The camp of the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yens Onweke, in the main opposition people democratic party are in joyous mode this was a secret to the endorsement of the ambassador Uma damagu led national working committee by the party's second highest decision making body the national executive committee at the 90th meeting in abuja the camp of the former vice president atuk abubaka moved to have dankma return to his position as deputy national chairman to let the north central produce a substantive national chairman to complete the truncated tenor of the media past chairman dr ayochia ayu it was gathered that Atiku camp has returned to the drawing board to restart the giants the chairman of the PDP Governor Forum and Baoshi State Governor Bala Mohamed. So, why fielding question from newsmen after the National Executive Committee meeting? They expressed the lie that it's contrary to expectation of the party's enemy. The meeting was held in a peaceful atmosphere. So, they said, we can see that there was no dissension and rancor. It was planned that the meeting will have an implosion, but PDP is more than that. So this party is United Party that is guided by experience and constitutionality. So there was a lot of perpetrations and mischievous thinking outside there. So they look at all the issues and they have worked along their guidelines and constitution. So there was no dissension, no problem or problem among members. So my people, on the issue of the new chairman from the North Central, the PDP Governor Forum chairman said that in the next two months that they will see a lot of activities, leadership is a responsibility. So in September, they would have come out from their congresses. They will look at the issue of leadership and look at the issue of their constitution, where it will be, and they will do it with no rancor. Also, speaking shortly after the National Executive Council meeting, Damagut told reporters that the position he occupied was not a matter and life and death. So he's still an elected member of this National Executive Committee. Even if he reverts to Deputy National Chairman, that he's still a member of the National Working Committee. The issue of surviving or not does not arise. National Publicity Secretary of the party, Debo Olubunagba, who read the communique after the National Executive Committee meeting, the National Executive Committee has thoroughly assessed the state of affairs of the nation and party, and they have resolved as follows. The National Executive Committee commends all the organs of the party for their collective resilience, steady fastness, and commitment towards the unity, stability, and sustenance of the great party, despite daunting challenges. They also commend members of the PDP with particular reference to the youth and women for their courage in resisting the antics of the defensive and anti-people or progressive Congress, especially the desperation to emasculate the opposition and force a one-party state on their nation. Also expresses concern over the implemented policies of the insensitive APC administration leading to worsening security, hallowing economic hardship, soaring unemployment rate, high cost of food and other necessity of life with pervading mystery and despondency across the nation. My people did only endeal. They express serious apprehension over this part of art of terrorism and violence including the escalated cases of mindless killings mass abduction of innocent Nigerians and marooning of communities in various parts of the country. They condemn the insensitive, nonchalance, incompetency and arrogance in failure of the APC administration which continue to conduct themselves in a manner that shows that it has no oath of interest or commitment towards the well-being of Nigerians. They also condemn the crippled totalitarianism and tendency towards a one-party state which is inimical to a peace stability and corporate existence of our nation as a well as the development of democracy and good governance in the country. So after due consideration, they demand that President Bolami Tunubu should urgently convene a special national security council meeting to provide a hostile solution and measures to curb the disturbing insecurity. 
with its attendant negative consequences on our national life. They demand that President Balametu should immediately reject his economic team to bring in person of proven integrity and competence without bias and vested interest to assist in repositioning the economy. So they further demand that the federal government should review all policies and programs which are stifling the economy with a sophisticated effect on the lives of citizens, including the increase in price of food. <laughs> Another one be the Baba. Without, you know, cushioning measures, hike in electricity tariff, increased taxation, and implementation of adverse fiscal policies. According to him, he said that they have also agreed at the meeting that all organ leaders critical stakeholders and indeed all members of pdp should close ranks they should put aside every personal or group interest and work together in the overall effort to reposition and return the pdp to power at the center in the interests of the nigerian people other key decisions taken include the consideration and approval of the center for the party congresses across the country it will also improve the reconstitution of the disciplinary and reconciliation committee to further ensure the stability of the party. Honestly, this party get wuru wuru. <laughs> there have been a lot of controversy surrounding the opposition of the aging national chairman as well as the national secretary. They cannot ignore the fact that the party is facing internal stiff, forever inaction disagreement and misunderstanding that threaten to undermine the very foundation upon which the PDP stands. So the recent event has brought to light the urgent need for reconciliation, unity and collective action to steer up the party back. On course, the last general election came with a lot of unexpected challenges that robbed the PDP of their victory. So those challenges were both internal and external. The outcome of the general election were appropriately challenged by their well-selected legal team in all the election petition tribunal down to the final court where the final verdict were delivered so as a law-abiding party they have accepted the verdict of the final court but not without many reservations they must give kudos to their legal team for their tenacity and professionalism while the case lasted on the course of the state of the nation the pdp acting national chairman said that it is no longer news that nigeria are suffering under the hard and unfriendly apc-led government that the rate of unemployment poverty insecurity is so high that most Nigeria go to bed without food in their stomach. Farmers can no longer go to their farm because of fears of being killed. Industry is closing down and moving to neighboring countries as a result of an unstable power supply and unfavorable government economy policies. So young Nigerian professionals of various fields now sleep in various areas so as to procure their papers and jabba. <laughs> People will not be small matter now they discourse. If you are trying to you know look for a way how they can come out with a proper vote count in 2027. They've started making a decisive plan and also resolve the conflict they've already had starting from the time of the general election. I'm happy that they all came together to resolve some of the issue, but you know now, many persons don't agree. All of them get their clue. Where do they follow and listen? So guys, I go like, know your thoughts. Your contributions, opinions are in the comment section. Go like, hear from Mona. Let's keep the conversation live in our comment section. Once again, thank you all so much for staying with us. On this note, we have come to the end of the segment. Like on your own, stay safe guys. Bye.